Globally, we're having to come to terms with a number of urgent challenges. Our climate is changing and extreme weather events are becoming more common. Extinction and habitat degradation are rampant as our need for finite natural resources shows no sign of abating. And as our population continues to increase, so our planet is seeing the growth of megacities. Our cities are the engines behind most of these problems, but they're also the sites where the answers can be found. We've reached a tipping point where we must find ways now to develop in tandem with the natural world, but the opportunities for creative solutions are endless. In South Africa, these issues form the backdrop to an array of additional local challenges, which include an ongoing energy crisis, water shortages, and significant youth unemployment and social inequality. In an urban context, the health of our society is reflected in our rivers, the literal veins of civilization. And the evidence is clear. We now require urgent action to address these problems and restore the health and functioning of critical ecosystems that we rely on. National, provincial and local government can't address these challenges on their own. They require support from everyday citizens to overcome our greatest challenges. Formalized protected areas are prolific throughout the city, but what we don't always cast our net over as conservationists are our urban waterways. Whilst municipalities have a large amount of capacity, they can't cover everything. This is how the Friends of the Lisbeck came to be, a group of concerned and caring citizens who in 1991 could no longer just sit by and watch the Lisbeck River degrade any further. We need safe, clean, healthy urban waterways for a livable city. Small little contributions from different members and, and sectors of society can have a cumulative impact, just like in the negative sense we have cumulative pollution impacts, we can have cumulative impacts of good. From those early origins over 30 years ago, that simple act of taking action has now given rise to a community that cares. From humble origins of litter collection and pathway pruning, the Friends of the Lisbeck has now grown into an organization with a fully funded maintenance team that carry out a range of activities along the river, including those historical activities, but now also including additional interventions, such as alien and invasive species control, wetland and riparian restoration projects, facilities maintenance, community days, and educational field trips. A central approach to the work of the Friends of the Lisbeck is the idea that the river is the ultimate teacher. The river has served as an outdoor laboratory where over several decades the Friends have learned through trial and error. Many of the lessons from the Friends of the Lisbeck have gone on to be applied at other water courses within the city and province. Additionally, the Friends of the Lisbeck has served as a platform to launch the careers of young environmental graduates. I was kind of just shadowing the current manager at the time and since then realized I wanted to stay involved in the Friends and stayed. I think what's unique about the Friends of the Lisbeck and particularly the employed positions that the organization offers is that they're designed to provide a platform from which a person can go on to take up bigger and better opportunities. Through the Friends of the Lisbeck's Lisbeck Maintenance Project, it has also been possible to create meaningful, dignified work opportunities for individuals from disadvantaged backgrounds. A full-time team of workers are employed to carry out the activities of restoration along the river. The Friends of the Lisbeck have two sort of core objectives and one is really well understood and that's this idea of literally going and physically improving the, the ecological integrity of the river. But the other objective, which has kind of developed almost organically over the 31 years that the organization has existed, uh, is this idea of creating opportunities for people, empowering them to then go on and have a bigger impact in their communities. Here, the idea of learning from the river has taken on a new meaning. At the start of 2022, the Friends embarked on a new project, creating an internship opportunity for six interns from disadvantaged backgrounds. So we started with six interns that were recruited. We had an interview process, so it was quite a, quite a formal process, structured process to make sure we found youth that would be committed to the project. Unsurprisingly, it wasn't difficult to find people who were interested. So what Friends of the Least Big does for low-income youth with limited career opportunities is provide them with experience, skills, uh, semi-permanent employment so that they can earn a living whilst gaining skills they can hopefully use to go on to bigger and better things. 
So not only are we uplifting the river and its direct communities, we're having a larger impact and we're trying to uplift society in general. The value that I think that this learnership brings is that young people get to experience on a daily basis what it's like to work along the river, to understand the ecology of the river, why it's important, and more specifically how that interacts with the dynamics of an urban setting. This was sort of a natural progression for us um, to look at what we could do in terms of skills development within the nature conservation and animal welfare space. So yeah, it's been an interesting journey and it's paid off, it's been very successful and we hope to see many more graduates from this program. Every month we meet and we talk and we are all so invested and passionate and it makes me so hopeful for the future of the river and the future of nature and cities. Two years ago the United Nations declared Cape Town as the most biologically diverse city in the world. That's an incredible accolade. But with it comes a great responsibility to look after that diversity. So we invite our community, whether you're a citizen or a business, to come and support us in whichever way you can, because together we have the potential to make an even bigger impact. The work on the river is ongoing and there is still so much to be done but the Friends of Talisbeck is now gaining the momentum needed to restore the river to a functional ecosystem and foster community stewardship for generations to come.